Let's go benchmarking. The Crystal Light brings nearly 17 million pixels with glass spheric lenses to the PC VR market, starting at just 699 US dollar. On Reddit, Twitter and Discord, we've seen many people worry that a 2880 by 2880 resolution per eye is too high for most TPUs. Well, we already know from many Crystal users out there that most TPUs still hold out fine and can provide great graphics, even with eye tracking turned off. This is especially true if you optimize your in-game settings. Some settings in specific games eat TPU resources while in VR, such as heat blurs in flight sims or sunrise effects in racing games. There are even some games out there that are sometimes CPU limited rather than TPU limited, such as iRacing. For this, dynamic foveated rendering can actually decrease FPS. We'll do this test on a bunch of TPUs, starting with 3060, which is right now the most popular TPU, according to Steam hardware survey. Let's quickly run some key simulators. We'll show on the left without any foveated rendering, and on the right the fixed foveated rendering, where the center part of your vision is rendered in full resolution and the peripheral area in lower detail. We are testing a 3060, 3070 and 3090 TPU. We're only changing the TPU. Full PC specs in the video description below. This is good enough? You decide. But we think even with the 3060 you get great visuals with the crystal light, even in sims like Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is one of the heaviest VR games out there. <laughs> 